Hello, it's been a long time since I've done a diaper bag video, so I wanted to do an update of what's in my diaper bag. I just got this touring tote this week. This is the Meadowlark print, and it's actually a fabric that they only made two prints in it. It feels kind of like tweed. It's a very thick cotton that's so soft and so wonderful. Um, but it, they made it back in, I think, 2006, 2007. Again, only in two different prints, and I've wanted this bag for a long time. Finally won it off eBay. But I also realized that with this one, I now have all the different fabrics that the Touring Tote was ever made in. So I wanted to do a, video, a quick video to show what I have packed in mine now and also to compare the different fabrics for you so you can see what they're like, what their qualities are. So let's dive right in. This front pocket, I've got church bulletin, my cell phone. This is just a case from threadless.com. It's a t-shirt company, that, for those that don't know, it's very funny, and they have people that submit their own artwork. Um, a few hand sanitizing wipes, a sheet of paper with some measurements on it, and that is it. In this side zip pocket, I've got um, some hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works. I've got some Burt's Bees lip balm. And I've got a charger, a USB, mini USB or iPad or Apple charger um, to charge my phone. My husband got this for free at a conference and brought me back one. So keep that handy because my phone sometimes dies. On the other side, I just have my keys. I always like to have my keys accessible in one of these outer pockets. So in the back, I just have my wallet. This is the uh, Petunia Pickle Bottom Cake Powder Room Case. Um, not powder room case, wow, pocketbook. Um, and this is the marmalade uh, fondant print, and I love this so much. It would be so much easier if I used a planner as my wallet, like so many people do, but I cannot let go of this wallet. It's my favorite. So I have that. That's all I have in this back pocket. I always take out the changing pad and wipes case just because I don't use those, and so I use this as a mommy pocket. Um, so open up. The bulk of the bag, and you can see in here how it's all laid out. Um, right here, I have just my planner, my pocket ochre mold and filofax that I use for on-the-go scheduling, grocery lists, and the like. I have videos, a video on how I have that set up. Here I have an Orla Kylie bag in this next pocket. Uh, this used to be my snack bag, but we weren't eating as many snacks on snacks on the go, and so instead I just threw in my Kleenex. My ouch pouch, it has my diva cup, some sunscreen, band-aids, and chapstick, and then another little hand sanitizer. So this is all kind of the first aid um, sort of needs all in one bag. I like to use small pouches, even in these smaller bags, just because it makes moving between bags so much easier. Also in that pocket, I have a bib for my 18-month-old. And then in this little pacifier pocket here, I have... Um, my spray bottle with vinegar, 50-50 mix of vinegar and water. It's what I use to clean at home, and it's what I use to clean off changing tables and high chairs and eating surfaces for my 18-month-old. Oh, I, I didn't say, if you haven't watched my other videos, I have an 18-month-old and a 4-year-old, so that's what I'm packing for. I have a mason jar of raisins, um, just organic raisins. I got it at a bulk food seller because the Cheerios weren't the thing to eat anymore, apparently, so now we have raisins. And then I have nothing in this pocket right here. This is where the toys for my 18-month-old will go um, if we need toys. But again, I found that more often than not, I didn't need the toys that I had, and I got tired of just carrying them around. So in the same pot, the same closet that I have my diaper bags in, I have this little Orla Kylie pouch that I just got on clearance at Target. And inside here are the toys that usually would go in that pocket. So if we're going somewhere that we need toys, I can either grab this pouch or I can just stick the toys in. It's got a wriggle worm, a, a Dollar Tree book, it's a two pack for a dollar, so it's a little board book, and um, the two busy little bees. I've done a shop review on them, so check that out. Um, little foodie busy book, really cute cloth busy book that I've always kept in my diaper bag um, for child entertainment. So I just keep them, they fit perfectly in this little pouch so that I don't have to carry them around with me all the time for a quick run to the store where I'm not going to be needing a toy. He's 18 months now, he gets distracted by other things than toys. So this last pocket, I didn't have anything in this other bottle pocket, so the last pocket here, 
I have a coloring book and an Altoids tin full of crayons. Um, so this will entertain my four year old and my 18 month old if I don't have the toys with me. He's still, he's at the age now that he can start to scribble and color, um, not just eat the crayons. So this is only toys that I have in there for now. In the main body, I have the Jujube Quick. This is the pink pinwheels print, and this is my diaper clutch. I usually have two um, bum jeans diapers. Right now I only have one because the other one is was used at church, and so that's in the wash. Um, I have a Planet Wise medium wet bag in the blue aqua chevron print. And then I have the Huggies diaper uh, wipes clutch. You can get at Target, Walmart, basically anywhere now. Um, so I just have some wipes in there and it's much thinner because I don't put that many in there. So it's much thinner than the Petunia Pickle Bottom wipes case. So that's why I use that. In this pocket in here, I just have Another thing of spray hand sanitizer and then a little container of the calendula ointment that my mother-in-law makes for me that we use for our diaper, diaper needs. The last thing I have in my bag is my Midori Traveler's Notebook. Um, I did an overview video of that if you've never heard of this before and I will do a setup video once I have everything to my liking. Um, but I want, I want to sleep with this. I want to keep this with me everywhere. I love this so much. Um, so it does come with me everywhere. That's honestly, that's the reason I took the toys out of this bag was so that I had room to fit this in this smaller bag. Um, but it's my journal, it's quotes, it's for doodling, um, watercolors. It's, you'll have to stay tuned and watch the videos to see everything this is. But other than my love, I love this so much. So anyway, speaking of smaller, let me push all the contents off to the side and I can show you, you can see how floppy this bag is, how squishy it is without anything in it. Um, so maybe I should put some stuff back in it just so you can get a good idea of um, the size because it's kind of hard when it's floppy like that. Sorry to reach across and block the camera like that. So let's at least put the Quick and the Midori back in. Zip it up. One thing that I didn't know about this really old bag is that it only has one zipper instead of the two zippers across. So that took some getting used to when it first arrived. So anyway, here is the old style, um, the old size of the Touring Tote. I have another of the old style. This is in the brocade fabric. Um, so you can see these are the same size. Um, zoom out a little bit so you can see better. These are the exact same size. Uh, the brocade fabric is still available. It is very, it's not the same soft cuddliness of this. I mean, this just feels like a blanket that you want to curl up with. This is silky. Um, it feels like silk. It's not, but it feels like it. Uh, it does wear some. I've shown this before um, that it has, does wear, but this was my sole diaper bag for years, including with two kids, um, including one of them being a newborn and cloth diapering. So it was put through its paces and it still looks pretty decent. Uh, it hasn't, uh, it's a little bit dingy on the bottom. It's not a wipeable fabric. It, it does need to be dry cleaned if it gets really dirty. I never did. Um, but yeah, it's just a very silky and uh, nice bag. I really liked this print, but the zipper busted. And so that's why I do not use it anymore. So I can show you now the larger size, um, move this one away for a minute to show you. This is the uh, almond raspberry. This was the Peruvian roll, um, which obviously was made in 2007 or 2008, so it's definitely not around anymore. Um, but the almond raspberry is another discontinued print, um, but more recent. I think it was just in the past year or two, maybe 2013. Um, but you can see that it is taller. This is the new style of bag, and it is definitely taller than the old. Um, you can see there's definitely more space in this bag. Um, so if I didn't love this fabric so much, if I didn't love the way this one looks, I probably wouldn't go back to the smaller ones, but especially since my kids are older, it's working so far, and I just have to take a little bit of stuff out. Um, this is the chenille fabric. 
Now I've had some chenille before. I had a boxy that I never used, um, so I can't say how it wore, but I've heard that the older ones wore a lot better than the newer ones. This has been awful. Um, you can look at my videos and see what it looked like after just using it two weeks. And it already was showing signs of wear after just two weeks. And I'm not that rough on my bags. But this I used for ever since that video, so a few months. And y'all, it just looks horrible. It's all faded and dirty. The entire bits of the print, like all of this isn't fuzzy anymore. It's just, it's not. There's no fuzziness on the back anymore just from rubbing up against my leg, um, which that shouldn't be. It's faded on the front. Uh, it just looks dingy. There are pulls. And so that's the reason I decided to get another bag because I just didn't want to carry this around anymore. It just didn't look good. And I wanted to save whatever bit of it I could, um, preserve it, preserve the bits of pattern. So I took this out of the rotation. I don't know if I'm going to use it again. It seems like a waste, but... I did get it for free as a replacement, so there's that at least. I'd, I'd be really mad if I spent money on this because it just has not held up at all. So the fourth fabric, which is probably the one that people are most familiar with, is the glazed. Now, I've used the glaze. I used um, a city carryall that was in the glaze, and then I have a couple of crosstown clutches that I love that are in the glaze. Those are the small bags. But in a bigger bag like this, in the city carryall, it uh, it only comes in the glaze and the embossed. Um, so it was just heavy. That was just the bag. There was nothing to compare it to. But this, having used all the other types of touring totes, this thing is heavy and it is stiff. And I just, I got this at the outlet sale and I really like the print. It's Sicilian Soiree. It was, I think, a Babies R Us exclusive. It was some sort of exclusive print. And I really liked the print of it. But it's just heavy, and I felt like I couldn't fit anything in here. Um, I'll show you the size again. Since this one's so stiff, you can really see the difference in the size. But everything that's in here, I could just barely fit in here. Even though it's, though it's this much bigger, it's also this much stiffer. Because this fabric stretches, and it will hold, and you can... It's lovely, and same with the chenille and same with the brocade they all stretch and will hold more the glaze just doesn't have any give so i loved that it was wipeable that's the reason i decided to get a glazed bag when i got my replacement for the almond raspberry was i was hoping it would hold up better uh, of course you have to be worried about color transfer and things that's why i tried to get a darker print um even then there's still some i only used it for like a week and there's already some it's probably color transfer or something there's something there um but yeah, it's at least the wipeable material, but I just couldn't get over how heavy and stiff it was. Um, so when I saw this on eBay, I snatched it up and moved right in without looking back. Um, even though it's smaller and even though there's less room, at least I'm hoping it will wear better than the chenille. And it can hold as much as the larger glaze and it's not nearly as heavy. So... That's my take on the fabrics. Um, your mileage may vary, of course. Different people have different needs and different wants. Uh, I still love the Touring Tote as a bag. I think it is just lovely and um, just perfect, especially for once the kids are a little bit older, you st especially if you have more than one, you still need to take things for both of them. Um, you may notice I don't have a change of clothes. I think in my last Touring Tote video, I didn't either because that lives in a uh, powder room case in the car. Um, I just didn't need to take it with me anymore, so I didn't. I'm all about downsizing where I can and filling it up with planners and journals, stuff that I like. Uh, so I hope this video was helpful for you to see the difference in the fabrics. Um, again, the glaze, which many people are familiar with. The chenille, it's very soft, but the new prints just do not hold up at all. The brocade, which holds up pretty well um, over time and is that silky material. Um, it's also has a lot of give to it. And then the tweed. Again, there are only two prints made, and they were only made in the boxy and the touring tote. Um, it's the Meadowlark, and I, for, I think I forgot the other one was maybe called a Songbird or something. It's a red or pink um, tweed. Um, but again, just so soft, like a warm blanket. And I... Hope that you will watch some more videos. I have a, since I've got these four out and I have people that have been asking me for a stash shot, I'm going to try to make a video right quick of all of my Petunia Pickle Bottom. So that will come up, be posted here in a couple of days. So look out for that. Feel free to subscribe and I will hope to see you soon. Bye.